Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 23, The Volume of a Right Prism. Okay, classwork opening exercise says, The volume of a solid is a quantity given by the number of unit cubes needed to fill the solid. Most solids, rocks, baseballs, people, cannot be filled with unit cubes or assembled from cubes, but such solids still have volume. Fortunately, we do not need to assemble solids from unit cubes in order to calculate their volume. One of the first interesting examples of a solid that cannot be assembled from cubes, but whose volume can still be calculated from a formula, is a right a triangular prism. So it says, what is the area of the square pictured on the right? Explain. So here's a square. So we have a distance of one, two, three, four, five, six units down here. And one, two, three, four, five, six units up the side. So since it is a square, area equals the side squared. So area equals six units squared. And six squared is 36. And the word units squared is units squared. Okay. So there's the area of the square. And if you just counted these, there's 36 of them. So that'd be one unit by one unit. So they're square units one by one. Okay, so now it says, draw the diagonal joining the two given points, then darken the grid lines within the lower triangular region. What is the area of that triangular region? Explain. Okay, so I need my ruler. I scrolled up before I grabbed it. So I bring my ruler down. And let's put this end right at zero, as close to zero as possible. Rotate it up. Try to be as accurate as we can. And draw the line. There's the line from this corner to the opposite corner. So it says draw a diagonal joining two given points, then darken the grid lines within the lower triangular region. Okay, let me make that a solid region and I'll shade it just one moment. Okay, so here is a triangle around that region that they asked us to draw the line from opposite corners. And it said darken the grid lines with the lower triangular region. Dark, then darken the grid lines within the lower, so we darken this area here. It says to darken the grid lines. So what they mean by that is... Alright, let me try to do this just one moment. Okay, so there. Now the grid lines are darkened, so I've done what they've asked to do. What is the area of that triangular region? Explain. So now I would have to do one... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15. Oh, I forgot to change my pen back to normal. So I have 15 whole squares in here. But then I have 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, 5 halves, 6 halves. So if I say 6 halves, well, that's 15 plus 3, so that is 18 units squared. Okay. Now, the next thing says exploratory challenge, the volume of a right prism. What is the volume of the right prism pictured on the right? Explain. So, volume equals length times width times height. Okay, so I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six units long. So the volume equals six times. And then one, two, three, four, five, six units wide. 
times, and then the height is this way. So that is a height of one. So I'll just put one unit right here. Okay, times one. So the volume is six times six, which is 36, times one, which is still 36 units. Okay, but let me write this so I explain. I want to explain all the unit measurements. Okay, let me just erase this. So if I want to be specific, the length is six units times the width, six units times the height, one unit. Okay, my height went away. One. Six times six is 36 times one is 36. Units times units times unit is units cubed. So the volume, volume is cubed. Area is squared. Length times width times height gives me a unit times a unit times a unit, which is units cubed. Okay. Now it says draw the same diagonal on the square base as a done as done above. Then darken the grid lines on the lower right triangular prism. What is the volume of that right triangular prism? Explain. So what they're saying is, I they want me to, they want us to do this down here. So just give me a moment and I will do that. Okay, so this is what they wanted us to do. They wanted to darken these. And now when we're looking at this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cubes. And then a half a cube, 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 a half a cube. So six half cubes. So 15 full-size cubes and six half cubes. What is the volume of the right triangular prism? Explain. So, uh, like I said, we had 15. I forgot to change my pen back. We have 15 whole cubes plus six half cubes. And six halves is three, so 15 plus three is 18 units. Cubes, 18 cubic units. Okay, so now they're showing this again, shaded and darkened and so forth. And it says, How could we create a right triangular prism with five times the volume of the right triangular prism pictured to the right without changing the base? Draw your solution on a diagram, give the volume of the solid, and explain why your solution is five times the volume of the triangular prism. Okay, so here's our solution. So if we have this base right here, and we stack four more on top of it, we now have a total of five. So to explain this, what we would say is, well, we already learned that the bottom one had 18 units cubed. So this one is going to be equivalent. So that's 18 units cubed. And this one is 18 units cubed. And this one is 18 units cubed. And this one is 18 units cubed. We have five 18s. And we learned in sixth grade that repetitive addition is multiplication. So 18 times 5 is 90 units squared. I'm oh, sorry. Cubed. 90, 90, 90 units cubed. Okay. Now it says, what could we do to cut the volume of the right triangular prism pictured on the right to half without changing the base? Draw your solution on the diagram. Give the volume of the solid and explain why your solution has half the volume of the given triangular prism. So we want a 45 unit, 45 cubic unit prism. And without changing the base, how can we cut that in half? Okay. Okay, so here's the solution. If we do not want to change, okay, it says without changing the base, 
Well, we kind of did change the base. The base stayed the same, but the thickness of the first level changed. We cut the base in half horizontally. So now this is only a half a unit up instead of a full unit. So multiply the area of the right. Okay, so now it says to find the volume V of any right prism. What do we do? So what we're doing is we just changed the height of the base. The base did not change here. My base is still 6 by 6. And then this diagonal is never changed in length either. Okay. I can find the diagonal to that, but I'm not going to explain how to do that at this time. So we'll learn that later. Um, so it says to find the volume V of any right prism. All we do is take the base area, which is B. So the area of a triangle equals one half space times the height. When I say base, I mean this six. And when I say height, I mean this one. So the area of that triangle is one half base times height. And instead of calling that area now, we're going to call that base area. And we're going to use a capital B to represent our base. So to find the volume of any right prism, volume equals the area of the base times height. Okay, example, volume of a right triangular prism. The volume of a right triangular prism shown in the diagram says to find the volume using V equals BH. So V equals BH. So V equals, my base is a triangle. Now you're probably thinking this is the base, but the height is changing as I go up on this. So if I flip this thing sideways, picture this being on the ground now, and this thing standing on end. And it's a triangle from bottom to top, and it never changes. If I call this rectangular base the base, as I go up, it is shrinking until we get to the peak, which it ends up becoming zero. So I don't want to change the... Because if I drew a... What I'm saying is, is if I drew a rectangular base here, okay, that is smaller than the base here. And as I go up, it's shrinking. My base cannot change, so I need to flip this thing on its side, and it's a triangle from the bottom to the top, never changing. So my base is a triangle, which is one-half base times height. So my base, my B, is one-half. This is my base of my triangle, a four. And the height is right here, which is one-half meter. So my base area is going to be one half of four, which is two. Two times a half is one meter square, area square. So that's the, the capital B. That's the first thing I had to find was my B. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in my B over here. So it's one meter squared times the height. And my height is right here. Remember, this is our base. We're, this is we're going up. Our height is six and a half meters. So I'm going to write six one half m here, and one times six and a half is six and one half meters squared times meters is meters cubed. So the volume of this triangular prism is six and one half meters cubed. Okay, next exercise it says multiple volume representations. The right pentagon prism is composed of a right rectangular prism joined with a right triangular prism. So we have a rectangle, your rectangular prism down here, and then a triangular prism sitting on top of it. Find the volume of the pentagon prism, a pentagonal prism shown in the diagram using two different strategies. Okay, so the first thing I can do is the volume of the prism down below this one. This prism, that, that rectangular prism there, okay, the green part is going to be length times width times height. So the volume of the length, the length is 4 meters times 6.5 meters. 
of six and a half meters times its height, which is six and one half meters. So the volume of the rectangular portion is 6.5 times 6.5 times 4, and that comes out to be, um, let me see, just one more. Okay, so I brought in my calculator, and I'm going to do 6.5 times 6.5 times 4. And that comes out to be 169 cubic meters. So that's the volume of the green portion. Okay, and then I have a triangular prism here. The rooftop, if you will. It's like a house, right? So let me get this mess out of here. All right, so I want to do this portion up here now. And remember that we have to find the base area first. So B equals one half base times height or length times width. The base area is one half the base of this, which is four meters, and the height, which is one half. So my base area is one half of four is two, two times a half is one, that is one meter cubed, m times m per squared. One meter per squared is the base area. Okay, so now volume equals base area times the height. So the volume equals one meter squared times the height now, which is six and a half meters. We already did this in the last example. So the volume is one times six and a half is six and a half meters squared times meters is meters cubed. Okay, so we found the volume of the bottom found the volume of the roof area. So the vo total volume is going to be 169 meters cubed plus 6 and one half meters cubed. So the volume is 175 one half meters cubed. Okay, I'm only going to do the one strategy. The other way is we could have found the area of a pentagon times its height. And the area of a pentagon is perimeter times height. So we would have done four plus six and a half, found this diagonal, found this diagonal, plus six and a half, and multiply it by six. Okay, that's the end of lesson 23. Go do your problem sets.